This here, this is a motor. This here, this is a motor. Would you believe that this is a motor? So what is a motor? Well, a motor, as it says in this dictionary that I randomly found, is something that imparts motion. Now how can this be a motor? Because, as you can see, it doesn't have any moving parts. Well, it's called a magnetohydrodynamic motor, or MHD motor for short. It has the capability of imparting motion of water through it. And because of Newton's third law of motion, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Theoretically, it could also push a boat or a submarine through water. Well, how does this work? All right, now here we have a magnet. Now every magnet has a magnetic field that's going around it. And the magnetic field can be determined by taking a compass, like this one, and moving it around the magnet. And then what you want to look for is which way the north pole is pointing. That is the way that, that the magnetic field is going. So right here, the magnetic field is going in this direction. Let's go ahead and mark that. So it's coming into the magnet this way. And by, if we go to this side of the magnet, the, magne the magnetic field is coming out this way. So if we put an arrow there, there's the magnetic field. Now around the sides, it's coming out, it's going this way. And if we take it and put it on this side, the north points this way. Now, the way magnetic fields work is they're a loop. So it comes in this way, comes out, goes around, and then comes back in. And it does that on both sides. And it's always heading in the same direction. Now the way a magnetohydrodynamic motor works is when an electric charge is introduced into a magnetic field and the electric charge is moved or the magnetic field is moved, then the electric charge experiences a force perpendicular to its motion. The way to determine the direction of the force, we use what is called the right hand rule. Now, we're assuming that this electric charge is positive, and let's say it's moved in this direction. What you do is you take your right hand, and you point your thumb in the direction of the electric charge's motion. And then you take your other fingers and point them in the direction of the magnetic field. Now your palm is facing in the direction of the force. So in this case, the electric charge will experience an upward force towards the camera. So to determine the direction of the flow of water through the motor, we have to first determine the direction of the electric current and the direction of the magnetic field. First let's focus on the electric current. Here we have the motor hooked up to a battery and the battery is hooked up to wires which are attached to tin foil. The tin foil then goes inside the motor. The motor will then be placed in salt water, which conducts electricity, so the electric current will be connected on the inside of the motor. Now, in electricity, the black wire is always negative and the red wire is always positive. And the electricity goes from negative to positive in the battery. So it'll come out the pos positive wire go through the motor and back in through the negative wire. Therefore, the direction of the current is going to be this way. So when we lay it down, the direction of the current will be this way. And so that is the way we want to point our thumb. On the other two sides, we have magnets here and here. So we already know the direction of the current is towards the camera. So now we need to find out the direction of the magnetic field. Alright, now because we're worried about the electric charges that are right here, the magnetic field is going this way. So that's the direction that we will point our fingers of our right hand. So now we know the direction of the electric current and the direction of the magnetic field. And now we use the right hand rule to determine the direction of water flow. So the direction of the electric current is going this way, and the direction of the magnetic field is that way. So now which way is the water going to flow? Is the water going to flow A 
to the right, B to the left, C towards the camera, D. So what's going on? Squirrel. Or E. The entire thing is going to explode. Alright, so we're going to put the motor in here and I'll use food coloring to help us see which way. He so as you can see, the answer is obviously E, an explosion. I would advise not doing this in the classroom as your students may not have school the next day. Okay, well maybe in a different universe. Here's what actually happens. Alright, so we're gonna put the motor in here and I'll use food coloring to help us see which way the uh, current is going. The answer is in fact B, the water moves to the left. This experiment is completely safe and your students will have school the next day.